Okay, I hope I have the uh, video capture. Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to be here for only a few seconds and I'm going to get off the camera. So, let's get off. So, welcome to the show, everybody. We're doing the next Battle Pass event, which is Deep Space Nine Part 4. You know, two or three years ago when I started playing this uh, game, I was I noticed that the Deep Space Nine crew and the ships were missing. Um, I already got uh, the first reward and the second. I don't have the Elite Pass yet, but uh, someday I'll be able to afford it. Maybe it's kind of pricey. Um, you know, when I was young, games were you know a hundred bucks to like the dollar and you would borrow games for free from your friends who own games. Um, nowadays you can download them for free. I'll have to make a video about that, but now this game is free to play, but, but you can buy a lot of stuff with the game. You can literally spend, I think, like thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on this game, which is ridiculous, because I never seen a... You, that's as much as buying like, a whole library of all the Star Trek games. You can see the rewards here coming up here. And there's like, uh, I don't know, 20 parts, I guess, as the numbers are down here. So, and Julian Bashir was one of my favorite characters in the whole show, as well as uh, the uh, uh, character Kira, which I can't remember her full name and stuff. And, uh, and this actress, if you remember Becker, she was in that show too. So. That'd be weird to have Becker characters here, like Ted Dance and all of a sudden in the Star Trek story. That's, that's in the new, like, uh, expanded edition of Star Trek. The celebrities and import your own family there. Hey, there's me. Okay. So I just, um, backed out of the, uh, let's see if this is still good. Backed out of the, Battle Pass reward screen, uh, or the Battle Pass screen. Now I'm back to the events here. So we have a few events going. The away team one, um, I should do, but the reason why I save, um, uh, builds and stuff is because I'd rather have the shield reward from the daily goals um, that's more valuable to me than just getting some more a uh, few units of gas or or stuff which I get from the refinery anyways so but uh, this one's easy you just upgrade uh, or um, finish the uh, away team that's all points for that so for success you get 500 points for a failure I think it's 300 points so and I like these here because you actually get I don't know what these were but these are used to buy um, some stuff in the store so Shep would like to have on hand uh, because he's actually kind of useful one of the more powerful characters Cadet Kirk here, which I don't use much. <laughs> now, on my first account, I actually had uh, the one that boosts morale, Kirk, and I, I really liked that crew. That was like one of my strongest crews. So. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't stick. Oh, there was, it did. There's a delay for some reason. That red uh, icon means like the connection is slow and disconnected. So. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's loading so slow. So, if you ever watched the Star Trek Deep Space Nine series, which there's a torrent on my post of the. Um, 
description was I really like cards. Um, it saves space and money and time versus me running all the way to the DVD store and trying to figure out where the heck the disc are and they carry the disc around. Um, here, I'm gonna send this ship out. And I actually got the jellyfish, so uh, up to almost tier seven, which is pretty cool. Because I remember the first time I saw a ship that was like in the hundred thousands, I was just so in awe at the power that was my ship was like level eight or, or less and I was like a few thousand power. Now it's like a common sight for me because I have uh, two accounts. Uh, the other one, I'm still trying to find the password. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's not the same as it used to be. <laughs> so I had to rebuild this new account here. Which I hope to sell someday. But. So if you're interested in buying this account from me, um, you know, please uh, message me in, in the message free message system here. We actually have enough to get the next reward. That's cool. So uh, uh, this next reward from D Space Nine Part Four. Uh, I think the reward is different units of refined gas. So uncommon, if you're wondering what the difference between uncommon is and common, the uncommon is a rare guess that you refine a coal. It can't be lost for the station when you're raided or when somebody tries to raid you. Um, but uh, you can um, you can't do the trading yet. I've been, I've been waiting for that forever. It's been about three years, I think, since I played this game the first time. There's an uncommon gas, there's a three star, there's a two star uncommon. Weirdly, there's no one star. And then it goes up to, I think, five star now. And then there's one unit of wear. Plus a lot of damn light lithium. This takes forever to mine, my god. If you mine that lithium at the beginning of the game, you could literally stay on a node for like a week and just get a few thousand units only. But later on you get ships that mine stuff faster, so that's better. The, the rewards are definitely faster. You know, I just uh, accepted two away teams and got 230,000, so. To take your time leveling, if you're new, you know, I rushed and spent all my resources and I regretted it. Too much on the Mayflower if you're on the Federation, the stuff, like save that stuff for the solid. That's more power. And then uh, get your event store stuff if you can. Oh no, I heard this guy passed away, so I'm, I'm really sad about that. Um, but I believe he's still alive in some form. And he's not really a changeling. <laughs> but. Uh, this same actor is actually in another video game, in Uncharted, so. I think his real name is like Rene Arbois or something. Um, what the heck, I just booted him. So if you get this cycle here, you have to close this. And then restart the, the game, so. Or one of our sponsors there, YouTube. <laughs> I'm listing my sponsors, a few of them, in the uh, description. So please visit their site if you want. Um, I'm trying to link them all, but uh, I'm not sure if YouTube links the www. I'm going to have to add the HTTP. So i are going to have to reload the game here. Thankfully, this game loads fast. This is the PC version. Uh, sometimes it's because the Wi-Fi actually drops. So. so check your Wi-Fi connection if you, you don't know what's going on. Okay. If you turn on the music and everything, you'll actually hear the soundtrack of Deep Space. Nine, which is cool. 
I always liked that music. It was one of my favorite theme songs out of all the TV shows I ever had. And I would love to meet Kira. <laughs> I, I actually had the hots for her. So. But uh, meeting uh, the guy who played Julian Bashir, I, I forget his full name, I'm sorry. Was, uh, honestly, I have a poor memory. <laughs> Even though I saw it uh, in the... Uh, what is it you call the uh, the credits at the end of the show? I just I, I just don't remember at the top of my head. It'd be amazing to meet anybody from Star Trek. I've never met any of those people yet. So. Right. so I'll just put this in there for tonight. Um, if you're on this server, I'm on the APAC 200. Um, I'd love to share a crystal rock with you, you know. I'm not uh, the kind of person who likes to hog stuff here. I'm going to go to this system here to unlock it here, just in case. But sometimes you have to uh, see inside of a system for something and see what's there, you know. If there's a ship you got to prepare for, or, uh, knowing its power is, is important. Uh, I used to do videos where I used to you know, put like how much power a ship was right in the title to try to save you guys time. So I know that information isn't oddly in other Star Trek game uh, websites. So, so I'm one of the first uh, on YouTube to do that for you. I'm happy to do that, but that helps me too. Is if when you play multiple accounts in the same mission multiple times, it's nice to know if you can win or not win. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time flying all the way out there, then attacking the ship. So here we're gonna go to this system too. I should unlock all these, but I do it slowly because. Um, I just don't want to waste too much time on this game. I, I spent a lot of hours on this game, to be honest. And uh, I love the Star Trek franchise, but honestly, I'd rather watch a TV show <laughs> with them. Um, you know, I could go with cloaking, ship blueprints. Let's see what ships are available. Oh, okay. Oh. North Star. I already got a North Star. I got a Discovery. I'd like kind of two bodies, but let's go to officers here. Miles. I'm not a fan of this guy. Um, no, I think I've seen him in like another Star uh, sci-fi show. I think he was sleeping with who, who, who's real hot. That, um, the, the the first mate of the ship of the Orville series. I I I'd seen her name in the credits, but honestly, I've never heard her name spoken. She's an amazing actress. So I would love to interview her and I'd go on a date with her one time. <laughs> I'll admit it. I got the hots for like every good-looking woman, but um, here. We're gonna go to, I hope the requirements do go up. So there's a new part here in field trading too, if you're wondering about that. So Klingon champion. But thankfully it didn't go up, so. Honestly, I don't need to do the, all that. Um, okay, so we'll just end the video here. I'll just recall. But let me look up who that is. Um, let's see. Cast of Orville. I just need to memorize this name. It's so hard for my head to do. It was, okay. 
This person here. She's Kelly Grace in the story. And Seth MacFarlane is Ed Mercer. Okay. I, I didn't know what that is. was his last name. Uh, Adriana Halicki. Oh, that's a cool name. So, I'm going to add you on Messenger, Adria. <laughs> I, I hope someday we can talk first. And, and, uh, it'd be amazing to fly you out here to this part of the world. It's, it's a beautiful place. Um, and this part of the world is actually Vietnam. So. And to meet her whole family. I'm sure she has children and everything. It'd be amazing. And to hear the stories and working with stuff from far and all that. But uh, we'll see if that ever happens, God willing, right? Uh, okay. So what you probably what I'm doing, I'm, I was doing the three-star refinery stuff. And I think that's it. So we'll end the video here. It's kind of my preview of uh, different Star Trek stuff for the uh, uh, Deep Space Nine. So, uh, on the APAC 200 server. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.